Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy as you know we always do by now. Okay, so what do we have for Libra please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Librans. 8th to the 14th of March 2021 message for Libra message for Libra for the week thank you that flew out okay so we have the three of wands okay message for Libra please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Librans for the week thank you so I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux. We have the Oracle Cards by Karen Kay, Mermaid and Fairy. Dorian Virtues, Angel Answer Cards. And we'll be using the Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot by Marchetti. Okay, a lot to go through. We have Discernment. Message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. What is the message that Libra needs to hear? Message Libra needs to hear. Thank you for the week. Thank you. Meditation brings answers. Very hermit energy. This is about finding illumination from within because it's, it's guided to you by source. God, the universe, the divine. Very nice energy, Libra. Some of you might be getting some answers. It's interesting. You might be getting some answer this week, but hey, let's see what the cards say. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify. Go deeper into the message, Libra. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay. Message for Libra, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Librans. 8th to the 14th of March 2021. Thank you. First card out. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Judgment. Okay, message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Librans. I'll shuffle one more time. Message for Libra, please. Message for Libra. Thank you. Oh, it's interesting. I've got the three of wands again. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Eight of cups. The Empress. Libra, this is your energy. Venus energy, Venus in Taurus. Uh, Venus rules Taurus and yourself. So powerful that she comes out in your outcome as well. Uh, we have the six of cups here, Libra. Okay, <laughs> okay, Libra. So, Libra, the Three of Wands is somebody who's taken action. It's a card of action. The Wands are all about being empowered, taking action. There's potential for growth and success with the Wands energies. It's something absolutely connected to our passions, our heart and soul energy as well. And something that you've been taking action towards. I mean, the three, uh, the three of Wands is growth, expansion coming your way, success coming your way. The first signs of something good coming your way. So it feels very beautiful. I mean, you can see the ships are coming in. It's 
interesting because you know with this card the ships can come in and out you know uh, but definitely in this position it, it feels like the ships are coming in something good is coming your way it promises growth expansion there can be something to do with distance overseas here it's not limited to that obviously um and it feels to do with love romance relationships Maybe there has been some distance between you. I mean, that could be emotional distance, phys physical distance, getting some, you know, time distance. I mean, I do have time here. So some kind of period of time apart. The message is be discerning. I mean, this is a card of, of really read between the lines. You need to get to the truth of the situation, get to the queen, which is what you're very good at. You know, the Queen of Swords is your energy in tarot. You know, she is very good at getting to the heart of the matter, the truth of the matter, cutting away the clouds of confusion. So I definitely feel for some of you, this is your energy. Um, being discerning, getting to the truth of the situation, seeing things for what they are, not how you want them to be. You know, and it's that kind of energy. I am getting this energy here, Libra. Meditation finds answers. I mean, I definitely get this energy of you're being illuminated, given the answers that you seek from within. But you might also be getting some answer from somebody. And it's interesting that I'm getting that. You might be getting some answers or demanding answers or getting some kind of answers from somebody this week. Because for some of you, there is a need to take stock. And it feels taking stock of something that's coming your way. I mean, the it's interesting. I'm definitely getting this energy of, of somebody who has left. That ship is coming back. <laughs> there is this definite energy that I'm getting and I don't often get it with this three of wands but this can be the ship is leaving it can also be the ship is coming in and even if the ship is leaving this is somebody who is manifesting new path growth expansion you know and it, it definitely feels in this energy though it feels that in this energy that if somebody has left you have been rebuilding your life. Um, but also if somebody is, if, if someone is coming back and I definitely get, I'm definitely getting this energy of someone's coming back here. There is an energy of taking stock. I mean, this is a card of good things come to those who wait to those who persevere, you know? Uh, somebody who is assessing what's of value in their life, where they put their energy and time. And that's what I'm getting with these energies, you know? This is where the discernment comes in. Is it worth my time and energy? If someone is coming back, and it could be somebody who has left, there is this energy of, is it worth my energy and time? I am evaluating now what's the value in my life, what's going to bring me growth and happiness and what's not going to bring me happiness, what's worth my time and energy and what's not worth my time and energy. And I definitely see that here. Yeah, because, you know, there is an energy of assessment between both of these cards. Is it worth manifesting? You know, it's that kind of energy, Libra, that I'm saying. And that's where you will be finding the answers that you seek here. By getting to the very truth of a situation. Yeah. In terms of what someone is saying to you. Because this Eight of Cups is saying somebody has walked away, said goodbye. You might have said goodbye to them. They might have said goodbye to you. But I'm definitely getting this energy of they're coming back. They're coming back. You know, and it's it's romantic gestures, it's messages from the heart. It is, you know, they offer love. They want to bring positive change in terms of love, romance, 
uh, relationships, it feels like they're definitely on for... Yeah, they're definitely on for starting something up again. I'm definitely getting this energy. And this feels, it comes after disappointment. They've disappointed you, Libra, which is why there's this assessment, which is why there's this discernment that's needed here. Because I definitely feel for some of you, you'll be wanting answers. You will be wanting to get to the very truth of a situation to really make some kind of judgment call. Again, this is judgment call. Because something's going to happen here. This Empress could be you. You know, this Empress could be you. Um, she's also the promise of something new, you know, a judgment call on whether you want to plant new seeds. You know, she is the birth of something new. Uh, can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It's Venus, goddess of love. So there's definitely this idea, Libra, of there will be some decision because something's going to happen and it could happen quite quickly, just out the blue. There is the first signs that you're seeing of someone returning. And it could well be that there's some news or some information coming your way or some contact that they're making. And then it definitely feels like some kind of quick information or news that will require you to act and make some kind of decision on whether you stay on the path that you're on and you keep going, you know, your own way or you have an opportunity to start something up with somebody again which is your decision you know the eight of cups generally generally includes some kind of disappointment someone has disappointed you but i definitely get this energy that you've you've moved on from whatever this relationship was i definitely get this energy of you are in a, an empowered position now and you're in an empowered position in terms of deciding what you want and what you don't want in your life now. So that is the call to action. There will be some call to action here. Um, and I feel that this is you. Um, but again, like I said, the Empress is the beginnings of growth, the beginnings of nurturing, um, healing. She is somebody who lacks for nothing as well, you know. There's a feeling here of, of is it going to bring bountiful energy into my life where I lack for nothing or is it going to be something that is just going to make me feel like something was missing or disappointment again, you know. It, it feels, you know, is it going to be another disappointment? So it feels like that's what you're you're asking here. Six of Cups is somebody from the past, and that's why I'm saying the Six of Cups can also represent, is it, you know, finding your joy again, reconnecting to your happiness. So it, it does symbolize that whatever decision that you make, whichever way you go with this, you're going to be happy. You're going to find that happy peace, that happy equilibrium, and you're approaching this from being in your power. It definitely feels for some of you that you're going to get some kind of answer coming your way. You'll be wanting some answers, which is fair enough. But there is the first signs of something wonderful coming your way. It might well be when they've left before. It's almost kind of like the ship sailed, but it's coming back. <laughs> um, it's interesting, isn't it? I'm seeing that circle. You see that the Empress coming full circle. Something comes full circle this week and they're coming back. There's so many return energies that I'm feeling in this reading. Yeah. So they're back. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. You see, this is wish wisely. Again, the judgment is a card of karma. So it is about once you make a choice or a decision, there's a kind of feeling that this kind of opportunity won't come round again for a significant period of time at least. So it feels like this is about being really discerning Libra and making the right kind of call for you. 
Wish wisely, use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. It's interesting because I'm getting, you know, this Ace of Cups with the Knight of Cups. I'm getting, because he holds the Ace of Cups, and I'm getting the Ace of Cups. And the Eight and One is, is Nine of Cups, the heart's desire, the wish coming true. So it feels for some of you, it's whether this is your heart's desire, and that is the decision that you need to make. And that is why that card is definitely appearing for you. Interesting energy, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.